Hey there, let me show in my Fusion Dive In video how to edit a library. So you all know that Fusion comes with a lot of libraries available. And in my project here, I already started, I created a schematic. And of course, I used the add command to place components. Now I have a number of uh, libraries in my list. They come from the team or local libraries. And of course, I also have library IO libraries. Well, that's all good, but how should I edit a library? Because where are these libraries stored? So actually, at the moment, they are not stored in my environment, in my storage. So what I can do is, if I want to edit a library, I open the library manager. I can do this from the add dialog, for example. Go there and you see I have the list of libraries I took components from into my project. And if I go into the In Use tab, you see the list of libraries I have in use. Let me just select the test pad library. I took it from library IO. I wanted to add some test pads. And now I want to add something or change something. So what I do now is I click the edit button, select the library and click edit. And what happens now in the background, you already see the test pad library window opens. I can close the add dialog because I don't want to place something in the schematic. And now I'm in the test pad library. And if I click on the device, for example, I see the definition here. And now I can start editing. But before you do so, please be sure to save the library. And that's the best uh, to use one place for all your libraries. So I have designed, now I have created a libraries project, this one. So I double click here, go into this folder, and now I simply save the library. It, it Yeah, I want to have the same name. It, of course, I could also change it. And I say save, and you see in a few seconds, the library is stored in my libraries project. And now I can start editing. That's it. So what you have to know is go into the library manager, select the library you would like to edit in the use tab, and then the library window opens and you can save it in your own place. Thanks for watching.